healthcare professional will use a machine called a spirometer to measure lung volumes. These volumes indicate how well the thoracic cage, respiratory muscles, and lungs are working together to move air in and out. The resulting measurements of lung volume and capacity can be used to see how well the respiratory system is working. They can also be used to help diagnose respiratory diseases. Certain respiratory diseases will cause certain measurements to change. In this video, I'll start to explain and illustrate some of the basic lung volumes and capacities using a balloon diagram. This will help you begin to understand and use them to assess someone's respiratory function. All right, let's get the show on the road. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a lung. Now, this is going to be my version of a lung. Okay, Air is going to come in and out through here. Okay. Now, when we breathe in and breathe out normally, what's going to happen is the lungs will expand to about this size right here. Okay, So we breathe in, lungs expand to here, and then we breathe out and then they contract back down to this size right here. So this volume right here. This is tidal volume. Okay, tidal volume. This is the normal amount of air that we breathe in and out during a respiratory cycle. The average tidal volume for both males and females is 500 milliliters. Now, if I were to breathe in normally, but then after I breathe in normally, I breathe in as much air as I can. And the lungs would expand to about this size right here. Okay. This volume of air right here that I'm breathing in after I breathe in normally, the maximum amount of air that I can breathe in after I breathe in normally, this is inspiratory reserve volume. The average inspiratory reserve volume for a male is 3,000 milliliters. The average inspiratory reserve volume for a female is 1,900 milliliters. Now, if I were to inhale normally, and then exhale normally, and then exhale as much air as I can, the lungs would shrink down to about this size right here. Okay. This volume of air right here is the expiratory reserve volume. The average expiratory reserve volume for a male is 1100 milliliters. The average expiratory reserve volume for a female is 700 milliliters. So here we're breathing in as much air as we can and then we're exhaling as much air as we can. If we were to take all of these volumes right here and add them up, we would get vital capacity. Okay. And this vital capacity is the air that we can breathe maximally in order to keep us alive. Okay. Hence the term vital. The average vital capacity for a male is 4,600 milliliters. The average vital capacity for a female is 3,100 milliliters. Now this volume of air that's left over in the lungs, this is the residual volume. Residual volume is the volume of air left in the lungs after we exhale as much air as we can, the lungs shrink down to this size. But there's some air left over in the lungs. Right? That residual volume of air that's left over in the lungs will help to keep the alveoli open so they don't collapse. Right? If they collapse, we can't get any more air into there. Right? But this volume of air that's left over is going to help to keep them open so that we can continue to move air in and out of the alveoli, in and out of the lungs. The average residual volume for a male is 1,200 milliliters. The average residual volume for a female is 1,100 milliliters. Total lung capacity is the sum of residual volume plus expiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume. In other words, total lung capacity equals vital capacity plus residual volume. The average total lung capacity for a male is 5,800 milliliters. 
The average total lung capacity for a female is 4,200 milliliters. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.